The tech world's biggest show is set to kick off in Las Vegas in a matter of hours. It's called CES. And I'm told if you want to know anything, well, everything there is to know is all going to be happening here. The latest technology, innovations, inventions. It is the place to be. And lucky for us, Tech Guide editor Stephen Fennick. Well, he is there. Of course he is. And he joins me now using technology. Stephen, great to uh, see you there. And hope you're enjoying yourself. Can you give us a bit of a sense of the size, the scale of this massive event, just how important it actually is? Yeah, good evening, Gary. Yeah, it's uh, this is this is the biggest tech event of the year. This this is uh, it's the first uh, gathering or the, the biggest gathering since COVID. It, it, it did take place a year ago, very much a scaled down event. But I think they're probably about eighty five percent back to normal. I'd say with the attendees. So we're talking all the manufacturers, media retailers, they all gather in Vegas every January to see what is going to be released, to see what uh, what, what developments there are. The, the, the companies time their, all their announcements for their latest products for this event, because you've got the world media here, and also the world's retailers here too. So a lot of deals done on the floor here. When the retailers uh, see these new products, oh. they plan on uh, when when all these uh, when all these products are going to land in Australia. So this uh, it's as much a business event as it is a, a a gadget fest and a tech fest for all the rest of us. Yeah, of course it is. Now some of the early product announcements, you'd know a few things. Any crazy inventions or some brilliant tech gadgets we should be looking out for? Yeah, there's a few. Uh, the show actually starts tomorrow, but there has been a preview of some products. So we'll start with uh, the LG uh. new OLED M. So LG OLED has been their, their staple for the last 10 years, and they've just released an OLED screen that has no wires. So traditionally, you connect your, your <laughs> TV and you connect all your, your Foxtel box, your big gaming console, your DVD player to the actual TV. Yep. Well, now this is a wireless TV. So it actually has a small connection box that just sits up at the back of the room and it can wirelessly transmit a 4K, 120 hertz. So great quality as well as great quality audio as wow. well. But you don't have the hassle of the cable. So whether you, if you want to mount it on the wall or just have a, an uncluttered look on uh, in, in the front of your lounge, lounge room, limited to the cables at all so uh this this is uh it's going to be available in three sizes up to 93 inches as well so it's uh it's a big it's a big one but it's uh yeah no no uh, no cables the only wire going into the tv is the power cable yeah, there always has to be a power cable. Hopefully the electricity supply will be able to provide the electricity. So uh, there's also an amazing new 3D laptop. Yes, yeah, this was released by Asus. Uh, this is part of their uh, their new range. This is their 3D OLED laptop. So this is the what they call auto stereoscopic screen. And so what it does, it does this means you can see really accurate 3D without, without the need to wear glasses. So that was a big hassle in the past. 3D, people having to wear glasses and it was just a bit of a pain, which is why yeah. I think 3D really died. But now with this new technology, this spatial vision technology, what, what the laptop does, it's got two cameras, one trained on each eye, and it generates two images and interlaces them together to tell so that your brain gets the impression, impression of a 3D image. Now, I actually tried this today. And I was I was really impressed with how clear and accurate the 3D was. So whether you you are maybe creating a 3D render of an object, you might be a designer, or whether you just want to watch a 3D movie, the 3D the 3D quality was remarkable. So uh, this this is going to be I think a, a big hit for Azus this year. Okay, and one of the most useless things I've ever heard of in my life, where you can actually take it to the toilet and you pee <laughs> on it. Tell me about that. <laughs> Yeah, this is the uh, this is the Withings U Scan. Now, Withings have, have a lot of uh, smart health products already. The latest though is the U Scan. So this is like a disc-shaped object that sits in your toilet, and every time you go to the bathroom, if you 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 pee on it, and it actually does a urine test. And in all seriousness, though, oh, there you urine go. is a very great source of information for your health. Uh, you know, on average, we, we go to the bathroom, we, we pee seven times a day, yet we only take re really, on average, one official test, urine test at the doctor's office. 
So this is a way for you for, well, there, there are different cartridges. So you can test like female, women can test for their cycle. Uh, they can test for, you know, if they might be trying to have a baby so they can see their ovulation window. And everyone else can also test okay. for things like hydration and your your vitamin levels. But it is, it is there are a lot of, inf there's a lot of information to be gathered from your urine. And so Withings decided to make this little hands-free solution. And it, of course, it talks to a companion app. So all the details, Details appear on your smartphone, right. so you can you, it'll give you any indicators if you're uh, if you uh, if you okay. uh, have any kind of sig any kind of health issues. It'll tell you. It'll tell you. Sounds brilliant. Good on you, Stephen. Travels travel safe.